Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 horror film It Came From Below. A film that is co-written and directed by Dan Allen and it stars Megan Purvis, Georgie Banks, Jake Watkins and Tara McGrowan. Now this film essentially focuses on four friends that decide to go um, and explore this cave um for reasons connected to Megan Purvis's family um there is there is a past there's a connection to this cave um and they want to go and explore it and find out if there are some truths to some legends supposedly connected to this cave um they're obviously warned off by you know the local um professionals telling them not to do this that and the other they ignore all that, go camping, go into the cave, and guess what? Things don't go according to plan, um, and their lives are put in immediate danger by something lurking deep within this cave. Right, what are my thoughts on it came from below? Um, well, this, obviously, low-budget independent film, um, it, it does have quite a lot going for it, this film. Uh, the premise... Is always interesting, you know, uh, going in to the unknown, going into dark caves, exploring, especially in a horror film. Um, it it kind of goes deep into our psyche and our fears, you know, our fear of the dark and our fear of the unknown, and um, it, so it does strike a chord um, in that sense. And there are some moments where there are some genuinely tense moments and some fairly frightening moments um the performances are all decent here now we have megan purvis who i've seen in quite a few certainly recent uh, low budget horror films and she's always generally speaking the best person in the film um, she's a good actress she's a good performer and she's always a credit to these movies from what i can tell and again she's the main focus of this film um and she does a really really good job um but that's not to say that the rest of the cast don't as well. Everybody here um, can deliver their performance to a good standard. So it does make the film more engaging um, and you are more involved in the narrative because of this. I think the problem with this film is it, it tries too hard at times to be like The Descent. Um there's a section in the film where it kind of gives you a breather where Megan Purvis's character is kind of rescued from the cave um, and ends up going back. So it kind of has this weird kind of breather, but it's really just an excuse to get more people into the cave kind of thing. More victims, I suppose. And the biggest problem for this film with me is you just can't see a lot. Um, it's difficult to make any film in the cave um even if you've got a big budget because of the lighting issues that you've got um and this film tries its best but at times it just it kind of devolves into torches flying about it almost could be, feels like a found footage film at times there's torches flying about there's screaming there's screeching there's hollowing there's growls from the creature um and it, it just becomes chaos to follow because you just can't see anything uh, and you can't make out what's going on and then occasionally you'll get a glimpse of the creature and you'll get a glimpse of a character but you're just not sure which character it is you're not sure what's going on um you're fairly sure they're getting eaten but you, again you're not sure which character it is so it kind of becomes messy this film and and the last 25 minutes or so of this film it's just barrages of screeches and chomps and growls um, and it just kind of gets a bit nauseating and a little bit difficult to follow um, and, I, I, and I kind of lost my interest in the film um, at that point on because I just couldn't make out what was going on uh, it all felt a little bit silly and um, the connection to the family thing never really made that much sense um, the character development 
wasn't done well enough for certainly in most of the characters in the film. Only the Megan Purvis character had a little bit of backstory. Um, the rest of them, no, not really. They weren't particularly well written or fleshed out. So again, you weren't really sure how they all kind of knew each other. Um, you kind of find out, I think one of them's brother and sister, but they don't behave like brother and sister. And I don't know, it all, it all, all a bit weird. These, these circle of four friends sort of thing. Um, and there's like history between them, but you're not sure what, and it's just, they're just not written particularly well. So therefore you don't have that connection to these characters. When it all starts happening, you don't start thinking, oh, is that such and such? I don't want anything to happen to them. You know what I mean? You never really get to that point. But it is certainly watchable. I, I, any kind of horror film that kind of is clever enough to know uh, how to, you know, um, work on our fears, you know, work on the dark, you know, our fear of the dark, our fear of the unknown. Um, uh, to me, they can always be fairly watchable, and and for a low budget film, this I, I I've seen far 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 worse. So even this year, far far worse. It is watchable. There, you do see something of the creature, and the design is fairly interesting, and the effects for it are of a decent standard as well. Uh, like I say, I think the budget lets this one down because when it goes down in a cave, you just it gets really confusing, and you just can't see a lot. Um, so I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. It had some potential, but it is certainly watchable, I think, if you get the opportunity to see it. So that's my review for It Came From Below. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching. And I will be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.